as we mentioned before, the 2011 legislative session begins today, and KITV4's political reporter Daryl Huff will be covering the session and the issues that are important to all of us. And Daryl Huff joins us now very early this morning on the what? hot topics what that are that sure that to picture? make headlines. What was that picture? That was, was you. Around? Oh, okay. Yeah. Who's that strange the guy Capitol. running around the Capitol building? I guess that was me. <laughs> Thanks for joining us this morning, Daryl. Hello. <laughs> and uh, speaking of running around, legislators are doing that. They're scrambling, trying to find a new leader for the House. Uh, some of them are, and this issue is over uh, right. Speaker I, Calvin It State. sounds to me like the dissident Democrats in the State House are going to be willing to throw their bodies in front of the uh, organization this afternoon. Mm -hmm. The session's supposed to start at 10 o'clock this morning, um, and it will. They'll gavel in, but essentially the House is going to make some pro forma speeches, um, have a little entertainment, and then they're going to if they haven't figured it out by then, they probably won't. They're going to have another session this afternoon where, as I understand, Calvin Say may try to force a vote, which may force the Republicans to vote for him so they can organize the House. Uh, meanwhile, the dissidents, there's 17 of them, may be willing just to stand up and start talking, almost like a filibuster, to try uh -huh. and block that vote from happening. So it could get ugly on the very first day of the session, and that could trickle out into subsequent days as the resentment and uh, Senator Hinoe is opposed to this Republican support, saying it would just make the entire legislative process look bad. But uh, why are legislators, some of them, opposing Speaker Calvin Say in the leadership post? Well, a lot of it is symbolic. Calvin Say represents sort of the good old boy way of doing things. He uh, has a handful of key leaders who really have a veto power over almost any legislation in the House, which means that you could push a piece of legislation all the way up, but then the Judiciary Committee or the Finance Committee will kill it off, uh, usually under the direction of the Speaker. Mm -hmm. Now, the Speaker says, no, nah, we've been doing lots of reforms. We're a lot more transparent than we used to be. We are a new organization. But these dissidents, many of whom are very veteran legislators, very qualified legislators, it's not just a bunch of kids, they feel like it's an anti-democratic system within the House, and they don't feel like new ideas are given enough chance. They also tend to be a little bit more liberal, a little bit more socially liberal, a little more fiscally liberal. And so that's why the Republicans are willing to chat up with Calvin Say. So it could be a very interesting day, although in the long run it may not have that much impact on what they produce. Now the budget is a big issue in dealing with the deficit. Now with a, a Democratic governor uh, in control uh, of, of the entire state, basically. And, you know, is there going to be basically like a kumbaya kind of thing in terms of dealing with the budget, or are, where they still have these difficult issues of trying to end those furloughs, as Governor Abercrombie has said? Well, the governor did get elected with quite a good margin. And the Republicans overall did so badly that you do have essentially a Democratic legislature, a Democratic governor. And the legislators have told me they are really waiting to see what the governor comes up with because there's been a lot of vagaries about how he's going to pay for this, how he's going to pay for that. Mm -hmm. And so they're really waiting for him to come up with his package. Now, the state of the state message on Monday will be the first key day. He also has to turn in his legislative package at that time. But he's saying the budget could be delayed until mid-February or even March. And the budget is where all the really hard decisions are going to have to be made. And Darryl, so we're going to have an extended session. We're out of time, no but what's the one uh, under-the-radar issue that you think that we should pay attention to? I think that the, the um, well, besides money, schools, civil rights, prisons, <laughs> human services, all these things they have to deal with, uh -huh. the idea of becoming more self-sufficient. You know, I think that's something we're going to be tracking uh, for energy and food. I mean, all my life we've been arguing here about why don't we grow more of our own food. Right, and that's something that uh, Kanu Hawaii is uh, talking about. That was an earlier interview. But, Daryl, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Good to see you at this early hour. Yeah, don't expect it again. Uh, well, we will, <laughs> no, definitely, because there's a lot of issues that we're going to be talking about. And uh, if you'd like to watch this interview again or see any of our other segments on our morning newscast, you can get over to the morning section of KITV.com slash this morning.